Hello, it's Kelly back and today we are doing a video on how to use the wall to ameliorate hip pain. So I'm sure you all have a wall. You just need something like this. Exercise number one is a squat. So squats you can do in many different ways and start with your feet hip width apart and then just bend the knees until you feel a stretch in the hips and um, to the point where your quads you know, feel like they're firing up. You don't have to go real low, just as long as you get into the squat position. Thing is, you want your tailbone next to the wall. So you don't wanna separate, you wanna keep yourself pressed into the wall, that will also help your back. All right, now there's another squat. So if you wanted a little bit more work in the hips, you would put your feet in a lateral position, meaning turn out, kinda duck-like, or yeah, so they're turned away from each other. Then bend the knees, lower yourself against the wall. You will feel more of a stretch in the hips as opposed to the quad. You'll feel more in the lower back and in the hips. Uh, lower yourself to the floor just to where you feel comfortable and then come back up. All right, there's a third type of way you can do squats. It's called a close leg squat. The legs come together. Really press the legs together and then lower yourself to the floor and you will feel more inner outer thighs. So more of the legs, the thighs will fire up when you press them together and you'll get a little bit more lower core when you do that as well. All right, so those are the different wall squats. Now, if you wanted, you could add a ball like this. And the ball will do th two things. It'll give you a little bit more support and you'll get a little bit more range of motion. So the ball moves right behind the lower back. Make sure you're all comfortable with the ball behind your back and then bend the knees and lower yourself. Now I can get much more range toward the floor because I've got this ball. So you probably will too. Plus when you do the ball, think of butt ski out ski, really press your tailbone into the ball, into the wall. So the maximum distance from tailbone to toes, and that will really stretch out your back. You'll feel the difference. Another benefit of the ball is this, you can lift a leg to challenge balance. So as you roll down, lift, extend a leg out in front of you. The left quad, if you extend the right leg, the left quads will fire up, come back up, and now the other side. So lower on the right leg, extending the left. You might find one leg has more strength than the other. On the weaker side, do that more. That's the side that will need more attention. So there's just a couple of ways that you could utilize the wall for hips. Oh, I almost forgot this one. This is the best one actually. So you're back to the wall. You can use the ball also for this, but a figure four. So take one ankle, in this case, the right ankle is on top of the left knee, and then hinge forward, uh, kind of like, so your upper body is over your lower body. And again, really press your tailbone into the wall and feel the hip open up. So if you don't have this capability, that's all right. You can even cross the ankle and do this and just work within your own range. So this is ankle to the top of the knee and then just hinge forward. Think there's a resistor band in the sternum in your chest. It's pulling you toward the floor and you're leaning toward the floor, not rounding, but just kind of hinging flat. The more you roll yourself toward the floor, the greater the stretch you'll feel in the hip. Now this exercise will really tell you what side needs more work than the other. You might feel a huge stretch on the right, not so much on the left, or vice versa. Pay more attention to that side. Also, you can do that same wall hinge with your feet parallel, the arms are long by your sides, and then just hinge. Think that that resistor band, it's in your, um, on the sternum, but now there's magnets on your fingers rolling you toward the floor, slight bend in the knees to take pressure off the lumbar spine. And again, tailbone to the wall. So you're really creating that maximum distance from tailbone to let's say nose. And it feels really good. Just move to where you feel that stretch. Hang out here as long as the stretch feels good and then come back up. So that's hips against the wall. Now, you can also utilize the wall for lunges. So um, 
When you work the hips, you also want to work the psoas, quads, um, and the gastroc, the back of the legs. It's all connected. You're not just hips. You also want to work the appendages. So here's the way that you can utilize the wall for that purpose. All right, so the hands are against the wall. Find yourself in a scissor position as wide as you can go. Uh, that back leg, really press the heel into the floor as hard as you can so you feel a stretch back here in the gastroc, the calcunus, all through here, um, the back side of the leg. And the Achilles, you always hear about Achilles injuries. When you stretch the Achilles, you help prevent those Achilles injuries. So this is important. All right, so that heel presses down, the front leg bends, the knee tracks over the ankle at this 90 degree position. Press the palms into the wall as hard as you can, and then lower and lift that back heel, just almost like you're stepping on a gas pedal. So the heel lifts, and then it lowers toward the floor. Once you hit the floor, really press as hard as you can where you feel that stretch. So that's the back um, hamstrings, that whole back line. Conversely, you also want to stretch the shin. So without deviating from that right leg, without moving the right leg, lower the left knee to the floor. And you don't have to move your knee very far before you feel the stretch from the knee to the ankle. It's intense. You don't have to move far before you feel the stretch in the shin. Then just reverse. Step out. Again, you might feel like you have more range or facility on one side over the other. So just listen to your body. Maybe on the other side, the leg doesn't extend as far, or maybe you can get that leg a little farther back, whatever your body is telling you. So the back leg extends, the front leg, the knees over the ankle um, at that 90 degree position, press the back heel down as far as you can to feel a wonderful stretch. Oh, it feels so good. And then lower and lift the heel slightly, almost like there's a magnet on your heel and it's pushing you toward the floor and you're resisting it. So really think about resistance. Think there's a weight on the heel and you're pushing it down and then you're resisting the weight on the way up. So you make this a very active stretch. And then just take that same leg and bend the knee slightly toward the floor. If you're all shaky, that's okay. Those are the muscles activating. If there is pain, don't do it. That's your body telling you you've gone too far. So it's a very fine line. So I always say, listen to your body. Now, there's another lunge you can do, which is great. You don't need the wall. And this is great for hips um, and the hams. So find yourself in a side lunge. So you could just stand, bring the heel to the arch, make this T, step out as far as your body will allow. So heel to the arch and then hinge forward, just like you are on the wall. Think that there's, again, those magnets or resistor bands pulling you toward the opposite wall and the tailbone moves away from you as far as it can. So now you're creating that opposition, maximum distance, tailbone to fingertips, and then just switch out other side. So it's heel to the arch. You're kind of like in that T position and then lunge. The knee should not track further than the big toe and the second toe. So you kind of like want to be in a lunge, but not with the knee over the foot. That'll blow out your knee, it'll be bad. So just do this. And then lean forward, pretend somebody's just pulling on your fingertips toward that opposite wall. You will feel the stretch mainly in that bent side as opposed to the straight leg. All right, very good for the hips. And and I hope that helps you out. So thank you for watching my videos and I hope you feel better and I'll see you next time.